Good morning everyone and welcome again to Mr. Ong Math Lesson and today we will look at the percentages and ratios in the last of the series of the number section. Okay, let's go. The first question is asking you express 54% as a fraction. So as a fraction, 54% means it's going to be 54 out of 100. And you simplify them because in the simplest form, it's going to divide by 2 on the numerator and denominator. So the answer is going to be 27 out of 50. So that will give you a tick in exam. Next question. Calculate 35% of 700. This is also again very popular in exam. You calculate the percentage of an amount. So 35% means it's 35 out of 100. In mathematics, off means you multiply by 700. Put in your calculator and you were going to get 245 because in kilograms. So make sure you don't forget your unit is in kilograms. That will be another tick in your exam. Okay, the third one, there are many ways of doing it, but I'm going to do the short way, okay? So if I were to decrease, decrease means getting smaller. Originally, it was 100%. You are decreased by 7, 23%. So you, the amount you is 77%. 70% 70 of 468 dollars. So what you need to do, you just need to take 77 out of 100. Again, off is multiply by 468. Put in your calculator. And the answer is going to be $360.36. Okay, we'll proceed. William got 34 out of 42 marks in his spelling test. What percentage mark did he get? So again, 34 out of 42. And to change to percentage, you just need to multiply by 100. Put in your calculator and the answer is going to be 76 point one nine percent so try using a calculator if you do not know ask your friend or your teacher okay now we are going to look at some of the word problem okay senior buys the house in auckland for six hundred and sixty thousand she sells it one year later for seven hundred and thirty thousand what is the percentage profit she made on the house? So remember, if they ask for percentage profit, percentage loss, percentage gain, percentage change, the formula is this. Percentage profit will be change divide by original multiply by 100. So the change is 730 minus 660 is going to be 70,000. And you divide, the original amount is 660,000. And you multiply by 100. If you chuck in your calculator, and the answer is going to be 10.61%. That will give you two marks in exam. Now we proceed to the next question. Okay, this is a, supposed to be a difficult question. So, exercise by is on special for four nine five nine six point eight two. That's the price he bought. If the special is thirteen percent of the normal price, what is the normal price? Okay. If the question asks you what the normal price or original price, they are looking for hundred percent. Okay. Remember that normal and original mean they are looking for hundred percent. So if he bought the a bike at a thirteen percent discount, so he bought the bike at eighty seven percent. 87% is the price he bought, so that's going to be 596.82. Now, what you're going to do, you need to find 1%. So, to find 1%, you take 596.82, you divide by 87. So, we're going to put in a calculator 596.82 divided by 87, and the answer is $6.86. But because they ask you for 100%, so very simple, 100% is going to be 6.86 multiplied by 100, and the answer is going to be $686, and that will give you another two marks in the exam. Okay, let's go. So we shall do a few more. 
and then we will look at ratios. Okay, the last question for percentages is GST. So you need to know the GST. There are two types of GST. One is called price plus GST, and the other one price including GST. If the price plus GST means GST has not been included, if you want to find the price including GST, you multiply that number by 1.15. On the other hand, if price including GST is given and you want to know the price before GST, you divide by 1.15. Simple as that. Either multiply or divide by 1.15. And now the question asks you, a car was advertised for 43999 including GST. So we are here. What is the price before GST? So the simple thing, you get a 43 nine 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 you are here you want to get to here you just divide by 1.15 put in your calculator and i've done the calculation before and the answer is going to be thirty eight thousand two hundred and sixty dollars and again that is an easy two mark great now we shall look at some of the ratio questions the ratio there are only two main way to do it okay so now we are going to split $54 in the ratio of 4 into 5. So simple, you first total parts will be 4 plus 5 is going to be 9. So 9 parts is going to be $54. Then you're going to look for one part, take 54 divided by 9, that will give you $6. And then the ratio for 4 will be 4 times 6 is going to be 24. And then 5 times 6 is going to be 30. So the, the, the you're going to split it into 24 into $30. That will give you a simple one mark in the exam. Okay, now is a word problem. Similar question. So you have soft versus hard. The ratio is 3 is to 4. Sorry, 3 is to 4. And first you calculate the total part. The total part will be 7. So 7 parts is equal to 42. Chocolates, one part will be 42 divided by 7, give you 6 chocolates. And they ask you how many have heart, so heart, there are 4 parts. So 4 parts is going to be 6 times 4, that will give you 24 chocolates. Answer the question they ask, and that will give you 1 mark. And the last question is slightly different, similar but different, okay? So the... Petrol to oil, the ratio, petrol to oil, the ratio is 53 is to 2. If they say a mixture contains 120 millimeter of oil, so 120 millimeter is here. Okay. So to get from here to here, you multiply by 60. Similarly, to get the answer here, you need to multiply by 60 and put in your calculator. I've done before. The answer is 3,000. 180 and you must put the unit so there will be 3180 milliliters of petrol that will give you two marks so keep on practicing and the question are similar every year and if you work hard you should have no problem getting a pass or even doing very well in this exam good luck in your exam and study hard